Hey everybody, this is Daniel with Texas Barn Aluminiums, and today we are at Power Plant Texas Grill. So Eric is not with me today, he wasn't able to make it, um, and we will disclose more of that later on. But you know, it's Friday Feast, and I wanna bring you here. So this is a really unique place out of Seguin, Texas. Uh, I've eaten here before, uh, but only once, and that was really recently. And the view is amazing out here. It's an old power plant. The history of the restaurant is just really cool. Uh, as mentioned, it's an old power plant, so there's a waterway right next to it. It's just really cool. It's got a lot of cool stuff on the inside. We're gonna show you that in a minute. Uh, but I'm here for the food. So we started off with a, I'm gonna read this to you, frog dip. Uh, but it's homemade queso. It's got ground beef on the bottom. It's topped with pico de gallo and guacamole. So we're gonna give this a shot, see how it tastes. But yeah, really excited to be here. Really excited about everything that's going on. So here it is. Can you guys see that? Look at that. It's a, this is a small serving. So yeah, it is what it is. So let's try this out. Let's get all that mixed in there real good. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, that's pretty legit. Yeah, I'm digging on that. You would think that with the guacamole and pickle, like the pickle the guy, that makes sense, but the guacamole would take away from it, but it lends a sort of creaminess to the whole thing, which is just pretty dang awesome. So I'm gonna try it with the meat here. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. So I haven't discussed this with Eric yet, but I have an idea, I have a crazy idea. So a lot of you guys that watch us, y'all are probably close to us. I'm assuming that you guys are near to us. So, you know, I read some of the comments and uh, a lot of you have been to some of the places that we've been to. Well, I think it'd be really cool if maybe we choose one of you guys who have either, um, you watch us and are near where we are located uh, maybe come and uh, do a Friday feast with us. You know, we can't do everybody at one time, but maybe we could uh, pick one person. We'll figure out a way to maybe uh, do a drawing or something. But I think that'd be pretty neat. And uh, maybe you guys recommend us a place to try. Um, that would be awesome. And actually, if you want to do that, let me give you my email. So it's going to be daniel at texasbarndominiums.com. Uh, just email me some places that you think that we should try for our Friday feast. And that's what we'll do. And if we select that place, we will extend an invite to the person that uh, recommended it to see if you're able to make it with us and uh, go enjoy a Friday feast with us. Alrighty, so I got my bison burger here and onion rings and I'm sure this burger would probably look better if I left the onions and the tomatoes on it. I'm just not a fan. Like I said, I prefer my onions grilled. These were raw. I probably could have asked for sauteed, but I didn't. And I'm just not a big fan of tomatoes. So, so yeah, so this is it. I mean, look at these onion rings. These are massive. I mean, this is a big plate of food for one dude. Shrimp. I'm gonna try the shrimp first. That's some good shrimp. Oh, grilled beautifully. You can taste the grill, you can taste that smoke, you can taste just everything. And it's got this like a, I don't even know, what, what, is, what is on here? What is that? Um, I think it's Chipotle Ranch maybe? Chipotle Ranch? It's kind of the sauce that they do with the shrimp. Cool. Basic good. enough, but it tastes amazing, yeah. Good. Awesome. So yeah, there you have it, Chipotle Ranch. That's about it. It's got a little kick to it, nothing crazy. Let me try one of these onion rings here. Mm. So the onion ring is awesome. Sweet. That um, The breading on there is just not too heavy. It's crunchy, it's not soggy, they're firm. Yeah, 
It's a good onion ring. Mm -hmm. Now, now for the big one, the bison burger here. This is a half pound lean bison. Toasted bun. I like a toasted bun. Kind of helps keep everything together. Yeah, let's see. Try not to talk about mouthful. Okay. That is awesome. That is a good burger. You know, we like we like RJ's, we like Joe's place. There's some places that we like a good burger. This is up there for me. This is on the list for sure. This is a good burger. That bison is just char grilled. I mean just just right. It's not overly done, it's not dry, it's still moist. Uh, yeah, this is this whole combination. Uh, I went with the shrimp on the side, just kind of as an added. But what's interesting is that shrimp kind of looks like a like a surf and turf, right? So I got my shrimp and I got my steak. Um, so that really lends to it there. The onion rings, just really, the whole thing is just a really good all around package. I'm gonna go ahead and keep eating because uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep eating and uh, we'll get back with you once we're done and kind of wrap up things. Yep, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do, keep eating. Well guys, that was it for today. The lunch was amazing. Again, I had the frog dip, which was awesome. The queso, the beef, the guacamole, the pico de gallo, all of it went together really well. The bison burger, wow, was just amazing. A really, really good cut. I mean, just the meat was just awesome, right? It was a good lean meat, half a pound. You can't beat that. The onion rings were awesome. The shrimp, I mean, I was really, really impressed with everything that came out today and just the cool history of the restaurant itself. Uh, you know, the old water, municipal water power plant. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. It's really cool. And just the, the scenery with the water flowing, uh, you can't beat it. It's just beautiful to look at. So if you get a chance, get out here. The power plant here in Seguin, Texas, the food is good. The atmosphere is good. You're gonna love it. Bring the family and just have a good time and enjoy yourself. Uh, yeah, just get out here to the power plant. Uh, and if it's not here, you know, just wherever you're located, whether it's Texas or somewhere else, support local, give back to the community. Um, yeah, let's spread a little love, y'all, while we're eating. All right, until next time, I'm Daniel the Hungry Hunter, and we are Texas Barn Dominiums.